Hello everybody, this is Mountain Rain. Welcome to my terrarium makeover of my old sad terrariums, which I've had for a year now. And after a while, terrariums get a little bit overgrown. And right now, I am going to pull out everything and start over. And that sometimes is the fun of having little terrariums like this, is you can just make them over any time and save the plants that are still alive <laughs> in the little terrariums. Right here I have them all cleaned up. I pulled everything out. And uh, these little plastic terrariums I picked up at the Dollar Tree, so... Um, for a buck each. If you get the really expensive ones, some are made exactly like this. They're made of glass. These are just plastic and they cleaned up pretty good. This is the soil I pulled out and the rocks um, on all the plants and the moss that was left. Uh, most of the moss did break down in the plants and everything here I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, these right here are the finished product of putting everything back in. And uh, I really didn't show the process, but um, I just use my imagination. Just do whatever <laughs> the stones I picked up at the, you know, the dollar store. Um, and the stones you can get, you can also pick these up off the ground. I would suggest like running them through your microwave or putting them in your oven and just kind of get that temperature going so you don't bring any little critters in with you. And I picked up these little guys at thrift stores. Oh, there's Goofy. Goofy and uh, I kind of want to sit in there and lounge in that little chair there. Um, just little Disney characters, whatever I could find, I picked up. There's Minnie. And if they're a little dirty, you can, uh, and the soil that I did put in here is pretty moist. So you probably don't want to add any more moisture to it right away, but you do want to start it off with some moist soil, not really wet, just moist put your plants in and um, the plants that I got I just t pinched off some cactuses from my plants inside and they grow roots right away um, you don't need to root them in water some you can if you like if you'd like them to take some of them might take some of them might not and the other little plant I have there is a coleus and coleus tend to root really well as well without putting in water. If you do lose a few of them, you can root them in water if you choose and then plant them. I will just see if they take, and if they don't, I can always pull them out and, and put some others in there. They're pretty resilient. These little terrariums are really fun to play with. And, you have some nimble fingers to get in there and um, put your plants, you know, pull them out, put them in. They're <laughs> just go at it. Do whatever you um, feel like doing. And I do. I did mine a little different this time. I didn't put the moss in because it just broke down and the colors changed in the moss. I'm kind of liking this look of just the soil. And if you put the soil at the little rocks up in the front, um, and you can put them all around in there, you can put them however you want. It tends to hold the soil better when you're watering them. And I like to water them um, by giving them a good soak and putting a little bit of water, tipping it back, let the water soak in. And then when you tip it forward to let the majority of the water just seep out. Those rocks hold that soil in really well. So you can get that uh, water out.
I can also see these making fun gifts to give away, um, to give out to family or friends, birthdays, uh, summer gifts, and um, just have a little fun with it. The little characters in that I just picked up at thrift stores. Or you can pick a little bag full at your dollar store of little characters to put in there and just have a little fun. And those, the plastic will be fine in, in these terrariums. The color might fade a little bit over time if you put them in the sun, but that's okay. The next year might come around and you might decide to take these guys out and try something different. Just uh, be creative. This is what I did with these three. I have a little light that hangs overhead that actually is good for plants. And this is over my kitchen sink. And uh, I wanted to do some Disney characters here. So I got Goofy, Minnie, and Daffy. And Daffy Duck. And uh, they do pretty good under this light. The cactus does. I'm not sure how the coleus will do. The coleus does need a lot of light. And uh, sometimes I'd rather be eating out, but I do like to cook. And I put, pick that up at a thrift store. And this is what I did. I hung them in the window. Some of them in the window right here. I just tied some string. And I would try some heavy duty cord to tie these guys up. So if they break and fall, which they have done. I have some heavy duty cord here. They will not fall. And they get a lot of sunshine here. And I just took some quick snap pics of all of them. And I hope you all enjoyed watching and uh, getting some ideas. There's no wrong way to do it. Just have fun with it. And uh, if you don't like it, you can always change it around. It only took me a good half hour to an hour to do all this. So thank you for joining me today. Take care. I love you all.